Hello, I'm Kate. Welcome back to my channel. And the Worldwide Write-a-thon was this past weekend, and I had set a goal to write 10,000 words over the event, the course of the whole event. For those who don't know, the Worldwide Write-a-thon is a is a Worldwide Write-a-thon <laughs> is a sort of like sprint stream relay that happens on YouTube. This one was over the course of a Saturday and Sunday for about 36 hours. This is also the first time they have had like two sprint streams going at the same time, one for productivity and one for like a more social stream. Very cool. And now just a few days, a couple days before the Worldwide Writer Thought is set to happen, I realized that I had uh, the wedding that I thought was a one day event was actually a two day event. <laughs> so this meant to start the Worldwide Writer Thought I was actually in Houston with a second wedding event to go to. The wedding was awesome, by the way. It was so fun. Had a freaking blast. But this really allowed myself to, to lie to myself. <laughs> All right. Oh um, no. I'm spending the first part of the Worldwide Readathon in Houston. We had a wedding last night where it felt as if my arm was about to yank off at one point while we were doing the line and trying not <laughs> to knock down the groom. And we have a fiesta at the ranch today. So we're gonna see how much writing I can get done before. And then I pointed here as if the computer was here. The computer's not here yet. Okay, how much writing I can get done before and then how much writing I can get done on the road and then how much writing I can get done when we're finally home. And then just, it'll be a sprint tomorrow. So spoiler alert, did I get anything done on Saturday? No, I did not. In fact, after we left the fiesta, the second event on that took place on Saturday, if the wedding was on Friday, I had every intention of pulling my backpack out and writing while the boyfriend drove. And did I do that? No. We drove back for four hours. I could have been working. And instead we just talked, which was nice, but also like... I needed to get work done. So by the time we got home, I was exhausted. But the very next day, I was hosting a fundraising stream for NaNoWriMo for the Worldwide Readathon, and I had a lovely co-host in Rachel Wrights. Now I've done 10Ks in a day before. I've done a 24 hour Readathon before. I've not achieved a 10K in one day in a really long time, actually. And frankly, I was tired from all the festivities. There had also been St. Patrick's Day where we had people over at the house on Thursday. So it was like Thursday, Friday, Saturday and stuff. And as an introvert, my wells were drying up quite quickly. <laughs> so I thought this meant that it would be perfect to just focus on the Worldwide Write-A-Thon day and perhaps may chance, perchance mayhaps, I would hit the 10K in one day. I'm ready. All right, it is almost time to enter uh, StreamYard for my my stream for the Worldwide Readathon. We got a little Vinti kitten chilling behind me. You know, just doing kitten things. <laughs> All right, let us enter. First race of the season. And it's lights out and away we go. There we go. He said the words. I just want to see the first turn. I know. Alright, I'm back. Perhaps now you don't need the spoiler alert that I did not hit the 10k in one day. In fact, I realized with how I was feeling pretty early on that this was just going to be a 10k in two days, keep my original goal, and just move the write-a-thon to Sunday and Monday for my own purposes. Especially because Sunday also had my Tottenham Hotspurs playing and the first F1 race of the season. <sighs> All right, we're gonna hang out on Lee's channel there in the middle of the sprint, which is perfect timing since my tops are also off now. Let's get some words in. Can I get a hell yeah? A head tilt's close enough. Hello. On that screen, but yes, 
Thank y'all for coming. I'm so glad y'all are here. Go, son, go, son, go, son, go. And I passed 2,000 words. here for Michael's riddle and it is very tough. <laughs> My alpha and bet get soggy and wet when I try to spell with worry and fret when I try to help like boots in a bog. Why now does frock change weirdly to frog? Like boots in a bog, what the fuck? <laughs> My alphabet gets all jumbled. When I try to spell with worry and fret, it's not about local W's and F's. And I try to spell like boots in a bog. Fra, okay, boots in a bog, frock to frog. Excuse you, Michael. All right, 2,529 so far, and I passed the 30,000 word count. I did not realize that, so it's very exciting. My goal for the day is still 32,000, but we're going to take this charade outside where it feels nice and I've had my allergy pill. Hell yeah. Who's the most excited ah! sausage in the world? It's you. It's you. Ah! It's sausage. It's you. Oh, she thinks so. Is but a swing. It's a very limited time in Texas where you can be outside where it's not too hot, but also there aren't as many <laughs> bugs out, and this is that time, so. Shall enjoy it with my girls. Thank you. Gonna take a quick nail polish break. And Jess and I did the author tube chat talking about write-a-thons and how to do them successfully. We were talking about making sure that you have breaks put in and just like chill time. So that's what this is gonna be. I'm going to polish my nails, maybe do a little nail art, who knows? Uh, watch some TV, let my brain chill. 3,500 words so far today is wonderful. I'm gonna try for 1,500 more. And then I might just take a bath and read. It's a good Sunday. I started re-watching Bridgerton so I could prep for the new season. Um, also after chatting with Charlotte Ann, <laughs> I was just in the mood. Um, also Zelda looking very forlorn, the most forlorn. <laughs> Boo doom I'm ready. 10k goal going through Monday. That's very fair and I think a great idea.
All right, it is day two of the write-a-thon for me. <laughs> Don't mind the hair, it's just gonna do what it's gonna do. So I did manage 3,500 words yesterday. I did not get to the 5,000 before the day was done and I was just exhausted. I'm gonna claim that it was just leftover stuff from the wedding festivities. But also 3,500 is phenomenal. 3,500 is awesome. So it could just be that 3,500 is about my tab out point. I guess we'll find out today if that's true or not. That'll be kind of fun. I am going to pull up some of the uh, streams that I missed. Probably I'll start from the beginning and just kind of randomly pick and choose. So let's see if I can get 75 on horse. I do love how organized they made this so I can go to my playlist. And then I think I'm gonna start with the productivity. We'll go to the first one on Marta's channel. Okay, now that I got everything transferred to my, off of my camera, I can share that I got 645 words so far. And okay, we're on Marta's channel and she had the absolute cutest timer I've ever seen. Let me see if I can get to the start of it. Look at how cute this is. <laughs> Anyways, it's my favorite thing. She has it on her channel too, so that you can see. Uh, some more timers with the little dragons in them. And I have writing violets via a travel vlog pulled up, which I'm going to use as a reward when I hit the 1,000. <laughs> so without further ado, I should keep going for that. I also have breakfast. Mm -hmm. I hit my thousand words, I watched the video. Hell yeah. <laughs> Actually, 1,028, a blurry shot of it. <laughs> I think it is time to hop to the next one on Julie's channel. <laughs> I've actually decided that every thousand words I'm gonna change location. <laughs> All right, 2,029 words, and they hope to raise over $500 to support Ukrainian families. Isn't that incredible? Uh, by the IRC, so anyways, oh my gosh, so exciting. And I'm gonna take a little bit of a break, do some movement, hopefully not get rained on. <laughs> I'm feeling very solid about the progress I've made so far. The story is coming along, it's so exciting. Um, this is basically like, I'm playing, I'm twisting a trope a little bit. Rather than the two main characters fake dating, one of the main characters was fake dating someone else for very specific reasons. Um, but now of course falling for this person, really? And so I, we're at the point of basically like no return where they've confessed what they're doing. And now it's like, this is still a bad idea because this has not been resolved, <laughs> so. I'm having so much fun with it. <laughs> One other thing I wanna do before I go on my walk yeah. is record how I did yesterday. One of the things I'm trying to do is figure out how many work days in a month I actually, I actually work because I am notoriously bad at planning, right? So I figure if I'm just vaguely recording what all I did and what all I got done, not in like a very strict manner, but you know, like an estimation, I can better account for how many work days I have. Yesterday I got 3.5K and hosted the stream with Rachel. So you see what I mean by like, just kind of estimating how I did. And then today I'm also doing 
my write-a-thon is continuing. And then I'll kind of record what I did. Um, I'm trying to hit some end of rest of March goals. So I have three main things and uh, I was trying to get that 5,000 yesterday. Um, didn't hit that, tried to get 5,000 today and then the rest are 2,000 and if I do that, I'll have a solid length for this first draft. So like I'm at 2,000 today and it's 11 a.m. and I got kind of a late start versus what I normally like to do for the mornings. I'm catching up on all that sleep I lost. So not too bad. I think for me this means that like the rest of the days ought to be pretty easy. Um, really, I made sure to not include any big goals for the other two things today and yesterday um, so that I could really focus on the write-a-thon, which means that as long as I can catch up today, I will be set and it will be phenomenal. So we're gonna fingers crossed this that I can get 4.5K more. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> We shall see. Then I have my co-written projects that we're trying to submit to Hallmark and then I have my own Hallmark submission that I'm hoping to get done today. Or I mean this month, not today, geez. Anyways, let us take a break, go outside, go on a walk. Let my wrists be free for a bit. I'll see y'all soon. Okay, so run done, decided on a shower instead of a bath as a bath will reward myself for getting the words in. I do have another cauldron mug full of cappuccino, a different one this time. And now it's another glorious afternoon. It makes me sick. And if you squint, or you know, look at it upside down, we can pretend it's a tulip. <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the next productivity spread, which is on Holly Davis's channel. Let's do it. I'm guessing one, because it looks the most like Ben. <laughs> so many guesses. <laughs> Oh my god, adorable. Go baby girl, go! <gasps> Hell yeah! My venti kitten did <laughs> it! That was amazing. I'm also at 2,675 words. So I'm gonna finish this scene down the the hair <laughs> and see what else we can do for the day. I wonder if she's staring at the cats and how many Holly managed to fit on the screen <laughs> for the last sprint. And that is 3,024. She literally will just fall asleep here if given the opportunity. <laughs> I am now at 3,444 words, which is about where I stopped yesterday. And, oh God, it's just so tough sometimes while I'm out of water. 3,500 just feels so solid for the day. Oh, I passed 35,000, yay me. Anyways, 3,500 just often feels so solid and it's the part where I can get to without feeling not bad. That isn't the word I'm looking for, but like I I'm now gonna have to actively push it away. So the words and the story is still very fun, but the actual act of writing um, for the rest of the day from here on out is when it it's not fun, right? Um, so it's just kind of interesting and tough when I am the one who set the goal um, to continue to push myself when it's not gonna be fun, when I know that tomorrow I could potentially get 3,500 again and it would still be fun. You know what I'm saying? Basically, I my goal for the Worldwide Rated Thought was to get 3,000 more words um, than what I'm at right now, but...
So that I'm trying to procrastinate. Oh, did you come over to help me? Oh, I did eat my good girl. That is my best girl. That is such a good girl. This nonsense. Oh, thank you. Thank you for helping me procrastinate. I love you so much. Not just because you helped me do the thing. Oh, what a big little puppy yawn. I will say the other aspect of this because now I'm just looking for excuses is um, I have been needing to rest my, rest my wrist, rest my wrist. And basically I have to take more breaks where I'm not doing anything uh, sort of right here, which is unfortunate because I realized how many of my hobbies use my hands. Um, my puzzles, painting my nails, various bits of writing, video editing, podcast editing, the only thing that doesn't is when I was going on a road or a walk, so I don't know. Ugh. Anyhow, I say as I fix my logic. Pacing wise, I basically need to get from one point to another a little bit more briskly than I have been. These past two scenes have been very in depth and very here, so I need to go over sort of, sort of smooth. What do you think, Zelda Snossage? Do you think I can do it? I don't know what that face means, other than you like being rubbed. Okay. So I'm at 3,500 birds. I shall consider. Um, I'm actually at 4,769 words right now. I'm very tired. <laughs> I think I'm gonna finish this scene, be above 5,000 words for the day, and then, um, you know, I'll have 1.5k left to go. And maybe I can push myself by the end of the night. I do have Steak's video on now, so. Hopefully this will give me the strength I need. <laughs> All right, and 14 minutes later, I can say that it did. Look at that, Okay, my recipe says let it refrigerate for 20 to 30 minutes, so. We're doing speed writing rounds and seeing if I can get that done in the time it takes it to set and then in the time it takes it to cook. I got this. Let the countdown begin. Zelda, sit. Wait. You just want the most attention. And go ahead, girls. Good job. Good job. Yeah, Ben, you got more food too. Okay, now we sprint. We're going until it's time to cry, <laughs> which feels accurate. Uh, 6,033, only 500 more. I had a really great, uh, conversation, a needed conversation between uh, a main character and a minor character, there's going to be a slight bit of misunderstanding and distrust that's important between this minor character and the other main character uh, for this romance to play out. Um, something that they both must overcome. <laughs> um, allegiances. Who can you trust? Oh, it's so fun. Anyways, so feeling solid about that, let's return to the cookies. <laughs> oh. You are just right next to your toy, aren't you? <laughs> and I can go ahead and preheat the oven.
Double oven time. <laughs> Can I write 500 words in this time? Let's go find out. I suppose if I can't, I do always have the cool down time. Okay, let's do this. I keep forgetting my brace, which I take off to bake since it's fabric and I don't want to get it all gunked up, but then I come back here and the, the drama is a little bit quelled for me. <laughs> but okay, let's go. Okay, Google, stop. Oh, it's out of hand. Oh, they really rose. 6,327. <laughs> so close to get so far. I fucking did it. And even though I'm in the middle of the sentence, I am stopping. <laughs> What you doing, Piglet? You looking for scraps of bib girl? <laughs> well, it only took me till 9 p.m. today, and I think I began writing at about 8 or 8:30 a.m. <laughs> to get 6.5k, but I did it. I did it. That is 10k in two days for the Worldwide Write-a-thon. I'm excited to go back to the videos that I didn't get a chance to watch all of yet, or even a part of for some of them, which just means I have even more encouragement as I face down. I don't know where my notebook is with my progress, but hooray. All right, me and my wine and my cookies are going to go watch Letter Kenny and I will fill you in on more later. Goodbye. Ha ha. And I did it. Frankly, I really didn't think I was going to. It is interesting the things I learn every write -a -thon. <laughs> It was lovely getting to hop between the social stream and the productivity stream. Um, I think the organizers, uh, Jess and Sam, really uh, got a lot of feedback about that. I know I was one of the people that appreciated it, even as someone who was watching it later. But I've recently done an experiment, sort of a stair step experiment, where I ask people what they would consider a solid amount of words in 20 minutes. That's just kind of the, the baseline to start you off on this experiment, right? And so I've been mulling over what I think a solid amount of work is for any given day. It doesn't even have to be drafting, though that's what I was doing during the Worldwide Write-a-thon. When I'm revising, oftentimes, it feels like a chapter is a solid amount of work. Um, if it's one that needs a really big overhaul and I'm going back through like multiple chapters to fix this chapter and stuff to repair. <laughs> Maybe it's uh, half a chapter is really solid. You know, I have a vague idea of what I'm hoping to accomplish and will feel like, okay, this was, this was good, right? So 3000 words a day, if I hit 3K, I'm like, holy shit, that was a solid day. You know, like if I was gonna do the minimum word count goal for the day, what would be like a solid amount and then like a stretch goal, 3K would be like, wow, that was solid. You know, that would be like, I'm saying minimum to still mean like good day. You know what I'm saying? So for me, I think minimum is like 2K. That's usually what I'm trying to hit. In fact, as you saw, um, when I'm trying to finish this project in the span of March, I'm trying to hit 2K a day. That is a uh, repeatable amount of words each day in order to finish. So 2K is the minimum, 3K is a good solid, and if I really wanted a stretch goal 5K, that's 6.5K the last day. <laughs> Holy shit, I was not expecting to be able to do that. And in fact, I think it's only because I got kind of like a second wind, making it almost a game where I was like, I'll just power through. Because frankly, I just get tired of sitting at the, at the screen after a certain amount of time. And as... <laughs> I will talk about this in a different separate video, but also my body doesn't like it, you know? So anyways, it's just these things that I'm learning and gathering and working on. And it was nice to have the Worldwide Write-a-thon to basically affirm that even if my motivation dries up, I'd still have determination to finish the thing. I really wanted to get that 10K so that I could do the 2Ks and it would, it would still fit in the time to finish my March project, right? I really want to finish this in March. And so even when the motivation ran low, 
evaporated completely. <laughs> I still just sat at my computer and I was able to do it, you know? So it's just nice to affirm that sometimes. I'm not saying I need to do it every time. Like it was nice the day before when I hit 3.5K and I was like, you know what? I'm exhausted emotionally and just tired, you know, from all of these things. It's okay if I stop at 3.5K. So anyways, cool things to learn, but uh, all that to say, I had a blast. I'm still going back over some of the streams that I missed. I find the worldwide write-a-thons are a great way to learn more about new author tubers. And it's just very fun. It's just fun. That's what it is. <laughs> but please do comment down below. Let me know if you participated in the worldwide write-a-thon. Let me know if you'd ever want to participate in something like that in the future. I will leave links um, to their YouTube channel and their social media pages so they can find out more about them. Let me know if there's been a moment recently for you where your motivation had completely run dry but you just like powered through a sort of determination that pushed you instead. And let me know if doing that enough times you're sort of able to tap into it. I would be curious. But also let me know a time you listened to your body and and didn't push through. Does that make sense? Like, let me know a time where it's, you know, you might still have wanted to do the thing, but you had to recognize and stop and be like, you know what, my body is not gonna continue to hold up in the way that it needs to if I keep doing this. So it's better to take a break now. Yeah, I would love a positive story of listening to your body. <laughs> But that's gonna be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you especially to some of my new patrons this month. Emma Louise Smith, Eldewa, Jenna Nekinen, Diana Kulkawan, Alex Brockhu, Amelia Braybrook, and Josie Sweeney. And I will see you all very soon with a new video. Bye.